Um, I think there's a question that we should ask everyone we talked to about big data today. Yes. So um, we talked about asking them all um, what metaphor would represent big data. And um, you have a great metaphor. Tell me about that for a minute. Big data is like a Great Dane that moved into your apartment. Because okay, wait a minute, neighbor, wait a minute, wait a minute, no, wait, not, wait, Oh, not wait, that one. Wait. No. Oh, wait, I know this, the one. Oh, you mean the electricity one. Yeah, let's, let's so start there. Then we can data, go back to dogs. Big data okay. is the electricity of the 21st century. And okay. this actually is a really good metaphor. And the reason it's a really good metaphor is because a hundred years ago, the datification of everything of the day was electrification. So a hundred years ago, um, commercial electricity started to become possible. You could have electricity anywhere, and um, that changed the way that work was done in factories. It created new categories of products. Like all of a sudden, you could create new chemicals that required a lot of electricity to actually right. make them. This opened the floodgates for new products and services over the 20th century. The electrification of everything created new products, services, ways of living, ways of working. What we have right now is the pivotal moment where we're just at the beginning of the great datification. It's as if data courses through everything. It's actually produced by activities. Right. Everything uh, that we do in daily life, um, this is part of the datification of this very conversation. Um, but the, the small, mo small you know, movements of, um, say, like um, a patient's uh, insulin level, someone who has diabetes, there are, are new pumps now uh, that detect the fluctuations in a patient's uh, insulin levels um, and can capture that information and then transmit it wirelessly in order to improve care, outpatient care. That's the datification of that person's um, health. So activities create data, but then the key is to use it. And this is the full picture of the datification of everything, the right. capture and use of more data in daily activities. And the, the, you know, we see some small bright spots now, but you know, the picture that we should all have is um, right at the beginning of commercial electricity. So we're talking late 1800s, 1893, it's a World's Fair in Chicago, and they have this great big building, it's this huge white building, looks like the Taj Mahal and it's lit up with 200,000 incandescent bulbs. Wow. So now you gotta picture this, it's 1893. When you go home, you walk down the street, if it's lit at all, it's lit by gas lamps. At home, most people light their houses with kerosene lamps. And then you go to the World's Fair, and it's lit up with 200,000 incandescent bulbs. Like you've never seen wow. anything like it. But outside the fair, the world is mostly dark. And that's where we are now. For all the you know big data bright spots that we see, the world is mostly dark. And it, it waits for what you will create with this new abundant resource. Okay, so I love that metaphor because it makes such perfect sense. But now I, you do have me curious about great dates. Yeah, well, you know, big data uh, also, um, it uh, takes up a lot of space. Uh, and um, it eats a lot, and so you have to figure out how to feed it and care for it as efficiently as possible. But if you can do that, faithful friend for life. Aha, uh -huh. very, very good. Thank you. thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Paul. I look forward to talking to a whole bunch of folks with you this week. Can't wait.